Sergeant Stanley Schubert, United States Marine Corps. First Sergeant David Smith, United States Marine Corps. Staff Sergeant Michael Waldron, United States Marine Corps. Fold one, the 13 stripes represent the original 13 states. On behalf of American Legion Post 778, we would like to thank and offer our never-ending gratitude for the sacrifice of every man and woman who have served and paid the ultimate price. When the flag is completely folded and the stars are on top, which is a reminder of the nation's motto, in God we trust. On this Memorial Day, may we all take a moment to remember that freedom comes at a cost. Never forget. And we want to thank Sergeant Schubert, First Sergeant Smith and Staff Sergeant Waldron, first and foremost, for their service in the United States Marine Corps. We also want to thank them for taking some time out of their day to teach us about the flag folding ceremony. Yeah, we talked with them at their local American Legion post 778 in Lindora, Butler County, and their message to all of us to never forget. Absolutely. And one of the ways that we can honor their service and the sacrifice of those who never made it home is by attending a Memorial Day event. We know that there are so many going on today, so we want to tell you about some of them. Yeah, and unfortunately, some events are no longer happening because of the weather. Uh, in Elizabeth Borough, VFW Post 7632 canceled their parade and ceremony. Bethel Park canceled all ceremonies as well as their parade today. We also learned Castle Shannon Borough canceled their parade as well as the Smithfield Memorial Parade and Service in Fayette County. The Lawrence Memorial, the Lawrenceville Memorial Day Parade, though, is scheduled to start in just about 15 minutes. It starts at 10 a.m. along Butler Street, ends at the Allegheny Cemetery, and of course, that's not to be confused with the National Cemetery of the Alleghenies, where a special service was held yesterday. Sunday, people gathered at the National Cemetery of the Alleghenies, that's in Washington County, to honor our fallen heroes. More than 26,000 people are buried there, and some veterans volunteer at the, at the cemetery, and they remind us the importance of giving back and paying tribute to those who gave it all for our freedoms. We were out there, we fought for it. All these people here died for it. It's just a day that means so much to me. I was one of the fortunate ones. Just pause for a moment, and when you see a veteran walk around, thank him, give him a nod. Absolutely, and according to the World War II Museum, more than 16.4 million Americans served in that war, and fewer than 120,000 are still alive. The Soldiers and Sailors Memorial Hall and Museum will host its annual Memorial Day ceremony and celebration starting at 11 a.m., continuing through 4 o'clock this afternoon. The community event is planned rain or shine. And with the holiday, keep in mind there are a lot of closures. All federal, state, several county and city of Pittsburgh offices will be closed. There's no mail delivery and several trash and recycling services are pushed back a day this week as well. And that's just a little of what people are talking about in today's Memorial Day edition of the Berg Buzz. Watch for more next time on PTO. We also know if the weather clears up, it's going to be a big day for boating out on the Three Rivers. So we have an important message about boating safety when PTL returns.